Hey everyone, Jason Winter from MMOBomb.com here, and today we're doing a first look of Battle Right Royale. Yes, another Battle Royale game. And if you're watching this like a few years down the line or whatever, you're gonna go, what, what does he mean by that? Why do you say another Battle Royale game? Trust me, it was a thing in 2018. Probably, might still be. Maybe you're watching this in like 2021 or whatever, and it still is. Anyway, lots of Battle Royale games. This is gonna be the newest one coming out. Of course, as you can tell, it's based on Battle Right. Which is the game by uh, Stunlock Studios, the kind of MOBA arena battler, however you want to describe it, top-down view, uh, battling PvP game, what, whatever, whatever kind of stuff you want to put on that. This is Battle Right Royale. Uh, if you're if you're not watching this in 2021, if you're watching this you know, right after I put it up, it's going to be in uh, early access available to everyone on September 26th. Uh, it'll cost you $20 then, uh, but they do say they're going to make it free to play sometime in the future. And, they did basically the same thing with Battle Right, the base Battle Right game. Came out at early access with a fee, and they said, you know, in about a year or so, or whatever time frame they gave, they said, we're going to make it free to play, and they did. So they followed through on that, so, you know, it, that's pretty good. This isn't the game that I think is going to be in, you know, alpha or early access for, you know, five years or whatever. Uh, by 2021, is DayZ out of early access? Who knows? Uh, but anyway, we're going to look at the present of the game right now, here and now. Uh, I'm actually on a press-only build that they made available uh, today, which is uh, September 6th. So we're going to hop into a couple matches. In fact, I'm going to do one right now. I'm going to ready up for a match. Got my guy selected here with this fire dude, Ashka. So we're going to hop in and see how it goes. Now, I played a couple matches just to get a little experience in this, because I never played Battle Right before this. I played uh, a little Bloodline Champions, which is the sort of the precursor to Battle Right. I played that like six or seven years ago when it first came out. But I had no experience in Battle Right. Despite that, I got into this, and it's it's not bad. It's not super difficult or complex or anything. It plays more like a MOBA, I would say, in the sense that you have, you know, QWER abilities. You, you use WASD to move. You don't click to move, because so you use clicking for your attacks and so on. We'll get into that once we get into the match. I'll show you how to attack and move. Obviously, if you're a Battle Right player, this is probably going to seem really familiar to you. Uh, I don't know how the progression works in Battle Right, but in this, you are going to have to loot uh, different things in the map to get your abilities. So that's kind of, that's, that's something that seems a little interesting. And then you'll gain, a, you'll also gain weapons and items, which are not weapons in the sense that you, you know, equip a new sword, but they just give you, like, passive bonuses, bonus to attack power or hit points or whatever. Now skip the cinematic here. Of course, it puts me on an island with everybody, because every battle royale has to do that. Like I said, I use WASD to move. Left click, you'll see that that's my basic fireball attack. The other abilities are locked, but... On the island here, I could spend some of my gold to get some of them. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Searing Flight for 60. And that gives me 40, so I can get a healing potion, which the game recommends. Potions are down here. Get a few different ones of those. Abilities are down here. It's going to be left click, right click, space, uh, whatever the other buttons were. Q, E, R, I think. So my space button is going to give me a little short range teleporty kind of thing there. Like I said, that's that. Now, as I go along, I can find copies of my abilities, and they will upgrade my abilities in the game. So, like now, this is just a common ability. It's got a little green circle there. Same with this, common green. But they can upgrade to, I think it's rare, epic, legendary, you know, those titles you're probably used to in a lot of games. I have a mount I can get on. Give me a little speed bonus. And you can see I've got just about seven seconds left to get into the match. Over here is where my items will go. Like I said, those will be passive bonuses. And it's a battle royale, which means you're going to drop off a big thing in the sky. In this case, it's a giant griffin. It's only 20 people in the match, so it tends to go fairly quickly. There's going to be a big field that shows up and, you know, eventually comes in. That's what the timer is for. So a lot of stuff you're probably used to if you know anything about battle royales. All right, I'm going to leap now. One interesting thing, though. First of all, you see the merchants in the wild. They're there. Also, you can see other players on the map. Little red stuff there. You can see a guy already looting stuff. And there's a person right next to me here. This may not last long. I want to find some loot. You can also hide in the bushes, though, which will help uh, conceal you from other players. And I'm not the first one to die, yay me. I need to find some stuff, though. I'm going over here, and this person's already been here and already taken shit, so I'm going to leave. All right, I can get over here in this little crop of buildings here and find some loot. Without getting, de without getting destroyed. No, someone's been here already. Oh, boy. And someone's right near me, too. I can see this little red mark. Okay. 
Uh, this is terrible. This is terrible. And there's the field. There's the energy field. Field of death. I need loot. Can I get in there? Nope. Oh, someone's behind me already. Whoop, I'm going to start shooting at me. Screw you, buddy. All right, I have to find something. Just so you can see me break open the orbs. See that part of the gameplay. There we go. Let's see what I get. I get some gold. I get my R ability, which is a flame wall, fire wall, whatever. All right. At least I got something. And let's see what is over here. Can I pick up something in here? Anything? Yes, things. All right. Fire, fire, fire. Gold, my space ability, which is my... Okay, I just upgraded that. More gold, okay. Upgraded my little teleporty thing. Whoop! Hang on. Oh, I was trying to use my ability. Why did not... Oh, there we go. Screw you. And I have limited range on that, apparently. Okay. Let me get over here. Get out of the way of that. Get one hit on him. I think he got one on me. Oh, there's someone else coming, too. Oh, God. Oh, God. There, put fire on you. Can I kill that guy? Oh, let me finish that guy. Nope. Oh, can I finish this guy, though, while he's busy? Hang on. You're not getting away that easily. Oh, there's someone. That's that guy who's low. Can I get my firewall on him? Can I just kill him? Yes! Nope, maybe. Yes, I got a kill! Oh, my God. That is my first kill in this game, so, uh... Congratulations, you, just got, you guys just witnessed history. All right. It was a cheap kill because he was almost dead already, but I'll take it. I will take it. And let's see, I need more loot probably. I can use tab to open up the map. Where am I? Okay, I'm pretty good. I'm going to go up here. How much gold do I have? What kind of potion do I get? I got a stealth potion. Ooh. Oh, let me grab some more loot. And there's chests are spawning all around. Yeah, whatever. I got my Q ability. I like that. That's a, like a multi-fire. Uh, you know, I'll show you. Oh, no, that's the area one. Okay, never mind. Oh, Boots of Speed. I'm going to pick those up. You can see down here I'm getting some of this loot. Breastplate of Vitality, Boots of Speed, Circlet of Resistance. All right. Oh, another healing potion. That's good. Did I see someone over here? And this is a little thing here. You can just get up here and wee! It's like you're in the airship again, or the Griffin, or whatever. I forgot where I want to go. I'm going to go down here and get this purple loot. That's going to be great, isn't it? Has to be. Got to really bash it open, though. I don't even know what I got. But I got some gold. Got a carrot that helps me uh, move faster on my mount. More gold over here. All right, we're down to ten people, so I'm already in the top half. Key ring? What the heck does that do? Damage versus chest. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's me break open stuff easier. Great. Oh, you know, whatever. I have a carrot. My R ability that upgrades my flame wall. I got my molten fist. Excellent. Wow, there's nobody over here. I like this. I'm just looting up a storm. Oh, that's this is the one where you have to stand in front of the chest and you just rub it for a little while. See? That's how you open it. Rub, rub, rub. Okay. Rampage. Got my E ability. Got my fist upgraded. Okay. I am ready for war, which means I'm going to get my ass kicked probably when I go into something. Actually, let me use a health. Oh, hang on. Let me use a health potion here. here I'll show you this. Oh, I don't have. Oh, I don't have my multi-fire yet. Oh crap! I got a rock though. <laughs> no, I don't have a rock. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave that. I don't even know if you can discard oh, extra drop items. Okay. Yeah, a rock is just like an additional little range attack, which I really don't need. If I was playing a melee character, it might be more useful. Death vortex incoming. All right, death vortex closing in. But it's still gonna be. Yeah, it's closing in from there, coming to here. I am on the edge of the safe zone, so I am good. I don't want to go out there, because that's a not be in the safe zone. Yeah, my problem is now I almost have too many buttons. If I get in a fight, I'm going to be really screwed up. Oh, and over here, this is your ultimate ability, which you power up by uh, killing things. Obviously, I only did a little bit to the one guy. Oh, got my right mouse, see there? And boom, boom, boom. Okay. Meteor. What does that do? Should I get that? I'm going to drop that. I don't think I... Oh. Nope, that is... Okay, maybe I can't get that. I don't know. 
I don't know what the little circly thing means. Oh, but a merchant. Let's see. What can I? Uh, I can upgrade some of my stuff. I'll upgrade flame strike. Sure, why not? That uses most of my money. Buy another healing potion. Buy another healing potion. Upgrade my firestorm too, because I got the money for it. Why not? Okay, we're down to four people already. This is uh, a little ridiculous. This is going this well. Although, again, I'm probably going to wind up just being murdered by whatever super-powered a person comes at me. Let's see if I can go over here. Alright. Because I actually kind of want to hunt someone down now. With all, my, with all my stuff. So this is a corpse, I guess? Maybe there's still some loot around here for me to get? Uh, some gold. Additional stuff. Wow. Okay. Oh! Oh, was that a person? Is there someone there? Hold on a sec. Oh, oh, they're hitting me. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Ah, they're all sneaky and shit, too. What are they doing? They're like... Oh, I hit him. Hit him with that. And that's like a totem that probably healed them or something. Okay, let me, let me heal up myself, actually. Now that I have a moment. They're probably doing the same thing. Alright. Where are you? Also, I'm apparently level 37. Look at that. Ah, that that's not where I wanted that to go. Oh. Oh, yeah, I got a couple hits on her there. Oh, that didn't quite work. Oh, I'm getting hit. New event. Oh, she's running, though. She is running. I think I tagged her pretty good there. Where is she? There. Oh, yeah. Just fire all over you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, where'd you go? I'm gonna heal up, though. I'm a little hurt. I got my ultimate, too. I don't even know what it does. What does it turn into a fire elemental dash forward? Okay. I'm going to have to use that. We're still in the vortex zone, though. Actually, I think I need my other potion, too. Yeah, she's going to be all healed up, too. i got to use my ultimate, though. Well, hey, it's stuff. Oh, shit! Ah, I realized that too late. Oh. What even happened there? That is like a... Was that like a trap or something? Maybe it was. Maybe it was a trapped treasure chest. Three people left now. Oh, there. Oh, crap. Did I even land that properly? That guy's got a turret. i got to use my ultimate. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, oh, I'm hurting. I'm not doing too bad, actually, all things considered. I just missed with that. Oh, ow, ow. Got to watch the ground stuff. Get, get out of there. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, I'm dead now. Can I at least do a little more damage there at the end? Nope, I'm down. Ah, oh, third place, though. That is, uh... That is easily my best finish so far. Like, I was almost competent there. So, there you go. So, it's just this person and one other person left. Yeah, you see, the Death Vortex is getting really small now. I'm gonna just leave the match, though. So, okay. That was that was a match. That was a surprisingly decent match. So, all right, let's go into the menus here once I get out so you can see what's going on. Again, like I said, this is the beta version, and it's a special playtest thing, so there's still a lot of stuff missing. You're going to see a lot of empty menu areas. Obviously, they'll fill that out before we get to, uh, before they get to at least an early access launch. Here, I went up a little bit, got some coins, and back here. So... That was the play menu I was on, which you can see Battle Royale. I can just pick a match, or I can go to the, t the tutorial and play through that. I did that before I started out to get an idea how it was going. Go to Collection, and this is going to be, again, I it's test. I don't know, whatever. Whoop, that brought up a screen. Hang on. Okay. All right, so that brought up a thing in my browser. Never mind that. Uh, champions, just what you'd expect, your champion collection. Like, see everything you've got unlocked for a guy. Look at the guy I was playing, I look at his abilities, so I can know what those all will do. 
before I go into the match. And you can do the tutorial to figure out, you know, to get a little feel for playing around with them a little bit. Outfits, your cosmetic stuff, various color schemes, various skins, the legendary skins and so on. Notice these cost 20,000 of the real currency to unlock. I'll get to how much that costs in a bit. But yeah, you cannot apparently buy them with the in-game currency, the gold stuff. But you will get chests, and I'll get to one of those in a second. So, there you go. Uh, let's see, then I can look at weapons. I guess he can carry different weapons. Let's actually go to someone who's got actual uh, weapons. Okay, I was playing as Rook for a little while. So his basic weapon is a giant hammer and his chunk of meat. If I go to weapons here, he'll change that around a little bit, different colors for those. So weapons, the weapon is separate from the skins. Adamant hammer I can only get by watching, I can only get by finding Pro League chests from twitch.tv. Don't know exactly how that works. And here he can swing a fish around. So that. Poses, yeah, kind of what you'd expect, different poses. And mounts, you know, in addition to that, RAM is all sorts of different stuff you can have. These appear to be shared on all your characters. This is the same menu you have for all characters. So there are quite a few of them. Various colors and so forth. Epic mount and so on. These, you'll notice, can be purchased with gold, which is the in-game stuff I was earning. Now that said, you'll notice I earned, I think, 11 gold for that one match where I did pretty well, where I, you know, killed a guy and finished in third place. Okay, so actually, I guess some of these only can be bought with the, uh, whatever they're called, tokens. But some can be purchased with gold. Hmm. It can be found in different chests and so forth, and this, that, and the other thing. All right. So, yeah, basically all your, your cosmetic options you would expect. Nothing too surprising there. Uh, mounts again, I can do not a whole lot there, because again, menus, whatever. Avatars, again, what you'd expect, I got a little scully thing guy there, I could have had a little silhouette. Switch that around. I imagine I'll get these other chests as well. And titles, you get for various achievements and so on and so forth. The more section shows me my quests, which you can see here. Oh, I can claim something, ooh, I got 40 loot orbs. I'll claim my 100 battle coins. So actually, yeah, the achievements are giving me a heck of a lot more than the individual matches. Like I said, I only got 11 for that match. Just got 100 for an achievement, so. Leaderboards. I'm not on the leaderboards. I'm not that good. Whatever. But if you are good, maybe you'll be on these leaderboards. And options are options. About what you'd expect there. Now I did, for one of my quests, I did earn a loot box, which I could open down here. What is this first of all? Okay, that was the quests. Social tabs, I can find friends, options, exit, okay. Chests, let's see what I get. I earned a chest. Actually, I got it from uh, leveling up, from going from one to two. So it looks like you probably gain a chest every time you level up, so at least you get you get that much. Of course, you can buy some, which are going to cost you a few number of coins and so forth. Guarantee at least three random drops. Three random drops, at least one rare. So let's see what I get. I get, uh, I was supposed to get three random drops and one rare, but I only seem to have three things, one of them a rare. Maybe it's, okay, maybe it's not cumulative, all right. I got an avatar, ooh, all right, I'll change to that, why not? I can't just change to it here. I got another avatar, wow, amazing. And for my rare loot, my rare loot, I got some weapons for the, the big, Good big guy, Rook, I think was his name. The spicy, be spicy, juicy beef and bash Rook. Sure, I'll equip that. So if I go back to my champions page, look at Rook. And indeed, I have the juicy beef and bash, which is different from the default. How? The weapon is silver, basically. And the meat's a little more chewed up, I guess. I don't know. It's a common, well, it's rare. This is this counts as rare. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, not the most amazing thing, but uh, all right. Now my avatars, there are my new avatars. Let me do that thing because it's Art Nouveau. All sorts of special. So yeah, chess purchase. Now where was? Do they have a place for you to buy the uh, the loot, the uh, special things? 
I don't see it, so I can't quite figure out how I would buy the uh, tokens with the real money. Maybe they just don't have that in yet. Maybe it's on another menu somewhere I can't find yet, but whatever. I think for the most part, though, this gives you an idea of what the game is like. Like I said, if you're a Battle Right fan, you might get right into this. It feels pretty good as a Battle Royale. It's not because Battle Right itself is already sort of a PvP last man standing kind of game in the first place. So this made a little more sense as a Battle Royale game, I think, than a lot of the other stuff we're seeing. And even as someone who never really played Battle Right, I enjoyed it. I thought it was okay. Maybe I'll get into it a little bit more. I want to see more about their uh, about their costs and about their reward structure. So once it goes into early access, uh, again, not being a Battle Right fan, I'm probably not going to pay the $20 for it. But when it goes free to play, something I could see myself getting into a little bit, especially if I have matches like this one again. So there you go. It's Battle Right Royale coming to uh, early access September 26th. Cost $20 then, free to play sometime thereafter. Probably, if I were to guess, you know, around mid-2019 or so. So hopefully that'll come to fruition. If it's, if you are watching this in 2021, it better be free to play by now. Uh, but I think that won't be a problem. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, first look video at Battle Ro bleh, First look video look at Battle Right Royale. As always, head on over to mmobomb.com for all your free-to-play gaming news, needs, contests, giveaways, first look videos, podcasts, all that good stuff. Of course, follow us on Twitter at mmobomb. If you really like me, follow me on Twitter at winterinformal and go to mmobomb.com. I already said that. I'm starting to repeat myself. So we will just end this video now. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. <laughs>